Good morning. I just got a video from Peter. He is Thai. His name is Parkin, but he is like friends in the group call him Peter. He read a scene and article again as usual, and here is the one I just got today. New Hollow, Hollow. I think it's called Hollow. New hollow sugar could cut calories in chocolate. Nestle has found a way of reducing the sugar content of its chocolate by as much as 40% and it should taste just as sweet. The g o b o k chocolate market has found a way of h o w l i n g our sugar particles and is applying for a patent. A spokesperson said, The Swiss company plans to start rolling out products containing the new sugar in 2018. The market of KitKat and Roro said the new particles dissolve faster to deliver a sweet sensation more quickly than traditional uh, traditional sugar. But it was tight-lived about further details of its innovation. It said it couldn't comment on issues, uh, issues related to calories, c a u s e of regulator, regulatory. I'm sorry, c a u s e and regulatory a p p r o v a l while it was in the process of patenting in uh, patenting the product. It also wouldn't say exactly which product. Uh, products would contain the new sugar, saying only it was looking at confectionery first. Oh, there are many vocabulary that is very difficult to change your mouth movement. <laughs> okay. Related, Pepsi gets aggressive on cutting sugar. Nestle. Began developing its new h o l o w sugar in 2015 at research centers in Switzerland and the UK. It says it only uses natural ingredients, and the final products in is still sugar, not an artificial sweetener like Splenda. Food and beverage firms are under mounting pressure to reduce sugar in their products. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's newest guidelines recommend people consume no more than 10 teaspoons of sugar a day, but most Americans eat way more than that, around 30 to 40 teaspoons a day. To put this in context, just one Nestle Kit Kat contains about 6 teaspoons of sugar, and a can of Coca-Cola contains about 7 teaspoons of sugar. Related Pepsi beats Coke, thanks to junk food. This land and competitors like Pepsi c o l and Mondo's have publicly committed to cutting back on sugar and salt to satisfy con- uh, customers who are looking for more healthy food options. Pepsi c o l which also owns brands including. g a t o r a d e and Tropicana announced in October and two-thirds of the single serving drinks would have a hundred of, of fewer calories by 2025 as it cuts back on sugar. Currently, less than 40% of it, uh, its drinks have a hundred calories or fewer. The introduction of sugar taxes around the world have also spurred companies to act. Studies have shown that a Mexican soda tax, which was introduced nationwide in 2014, cut sales of uh, sugary beverages, and the policy is protected to reduce the number of cases of type 2 diabetes, strokes, and heart attacks in the country. Okay, thank you.